Hey Bullfroggers, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to give you my one year review of this unit, the Trend Air Shield Pro. First off, a disclaimer, I am not sponsored or compensated by Trend in any way. I bought this with my own money. Let's get to it. All right, I'm just going to put this out there. I can't stand the smell of sawdust. Yeah, I know that's kind of silly for a woodworker, but I just can't stand it. So. I had been a shop teacher for around 32 years at the time I bought this with retirement in sight and I was beginning to be concerned about my lungs. Despite a butt kicking dust collection system at school, dust collection was clearly not a priority, design priority on older machines. So it was, shall we say, less than optimum. The problem with masks, whether it's the N95 masks that we're all sick and tired of or these neoprene masks, or any mask for that matter, is they only work if there's an airtight seal around the mask. In order to achieve that seal, there has to be some pressure on the bridge of your nose. And for me, that constricts my nasal passages, forcing me to breathe through my mouth, which means I can't tell if I'm breathing any sawdust because I can't smell it. They're hot and steamy inside. As, as we all now know, they severely restrict your airflow if you exert yourself even a little bit. Further, they don't work at all if you have a beard, unless it's neat and trim like mine. So I decided my lungs are worth protecting. Yes, this unit is expensive, $370 at the time I purchased it. So this isn't for the guy who cuts a couple boards once or twice a month. If that's you, I recommend you tough it out with a paper mask. But if you do a fair amount of woodworking, I suggest you look into this unit, especially if you're young. Don't wait till you've been breathing wood dust for 20 plus years, like, like me, to be concerned about your lungs. Here's how it works. The fan pulls air in through these openings in the back of the helmet, through the filters, and blows that clean filtered air down across the face shield. Excess air escapes through a, a bunch of tiny holes in here or anywhere you don't have a tight seal. There's an elastic band right here, you can see it, that fits around the bottom of your face. I'll put it on here in a few minutes. But anywhere there's not a tight seal, all that air will escape. Because the air is going out through those openings, dust can't come in. That's called positive air pressure. There's an adjustable headband that tightens easily with the turn of this knob. The charger cord plugs in right here for charging. No need to remove the battery for charging. Power button is right here, this red button. Place it on your melon, pull the mask down, tighten the headband, turn it on, get busy. The pros, this thing works. It does exactly what it's designed to do. I've done machine and hand sanding, turning, slab flattening, chainsaw milling, blown out my uh, shop vac filter, emptied my dust collector, through all that, uh, only a few times did I get a tiny whiff of dust. It just works. It never fogs up because it blows a constant stream of fresh air down across the face shield. Even if you intentionally fog the lens, it dissipates almost immediately. It works just fine with glasses, beards, and even thin hats because it works on the principle of positive air pressure. You don't have to have an airtight seal around your face. Now, if you have a ZZ Top beard, it might not work for you, but that's the price you pay for being stylish. The cons. As I mentioned before, it's expensive. Batteries and replacement filters are expensive. But you can easily clean the filters, they're removable, and spray them out with your air hose. They're also held onto this little plastic piece by a tiny little zip tie. You probably can snip that and blow them out even better and then just replace it with a rubber band. Replacement battery packs are expensive too, but I'm betting you can have these rebuilt at a Batteries Plus or Batteries Warehouse for significantly less. Battery charge time is a bit long. Manufacturer recommends initial charge of 24 hours and then 14 hours after that. When fully charged, this red light is supposed to turn green, but I have not had that happen yet. I have had no issues with battery runtime though. 
It's not overly heavy, but the majority of the weight is concentrated on the top of your head. So if you're doing any type of work where you're leaning your head at an odd angle for an extended period of time, you may experience some neck strain. You do have to lift the mask to blow dust or chips out of the way. Overall, this unit is excellent and to me, well worth the money. There's a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time at Bullfrog Pawn Shop.